All right, we have three teams left. Three Pitt County teams, I should say, yeah. playing high school football. And three um, forecasters. Three forecasters. Tony is back in the fold. We'll I am. Back, Appreciate it. I, yeah. I hated being away so long. I found my beard yeah. Yeah. while I was gone. Yeah. So you're welcome, viewers. Yep. Still waiting for Ronnie to grow his beard. Yeah. <laughs> I can get there. It's just a, it takes two years. Yeah, yeah, it'll it'll, it'll, it'll be the baseball time. playoffs. Yeah. Good. It's, <laughs> good. it's going to all grow up here yeah. first. Yeah. We'll see what just going to do the comb down. Cousin it. But yeah, Jim is back. And I'm here, so oh, no, Jim is here. Yeah. Tony's back. I'm here. So the whole well, gang is here. Let's um, just talk about football. Yeah. Three games to talk about, and they're all trying to get to the third round. Yeah. So we have a solid theme going. All right. Um, that's a, that's enough. Uh, Tony, uh, get our first game here. Two uh, A bracket. Edenton Holmes travels to Aiden Griffin. Yeah, um, an Aiden Griffin team that we were talking before the show. I've seen a lot this year, and, and yeah. really have seen that team grow. Um, it's kind of been the way that they've been the last few seasons. The further you go along in the year, the better they seem to play. The defense Definitely. has been outstanding. Coach Cornwell knows what he's doing out there. Um, a really good home team, too. They, they've they yeah. played really well in Littlefield. Every time I've seen them this year, the defense comes close to pitching a shutout. They get going offensively. It's kind of slow building offense, but once they really start running downhill a little bit and flexing their muscle on the offensive line, they're a tough team to beat. Yeah, I agree. Uh, good matchup, too, the team coming in. Um, what's the uh, your pick in that one? I want to pick Aiden Grifton because of the home field advantage and because of just the momentum they have right now. I, I feel like they're going to keep it going. Um, I guess a good 10-2 and two team, as you mentioned, but I, I don't know that that team has played the level of competition that they're going to play on Friday night. All right, Jim. I think this will be the toughest team that Aiden Griffin's played during that winning streak so far, but yeah. I'm going to agree with Tony, amazingly enough, <laughs> and pick the Chargers in this one. I just think they play really well. I know they're four and three at home, but they're really playing well at home right now. Lately. Yeah, yeah. yeah and, and even though Edenton's uh, uh, 10 and two, I just think that, that Aiden Griffin uh, record is just uh, kind of misleading. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I just see the Chargers getting a close win. Like I said, I think this will be the toughest team they've played this half of the season, yeah. but, but I, I see the Chargers getting a win. All right, uh, I'm going to play bad guy. Uh, I'm going to go with Holmes. Um, thing that stands out to me, Holmes. Uh, my, my Holmes, uh, Aiden Grifton won last year, beat 124-14 to 14 against Holmes. I think that's good for the visitors here. Really? The, the revenge factor, the, oh, yeah. you know, coming back to the same spot the same year, a year later, and getting a win. I, it's kind of similar to what happened with Rose and Conley last year. Conley yeah. won the, the regular season matchup. Rose had the revenge, the payback, all that. They won the playoff. Yeah. Um, maybe I'm reaching and looking into it too much. No, it makes know, sense. But I disagree, but yeah. I'm, it makes <laughs> sense. You're wrong. <laughs> but, uh, I think Holmes is good, too. They're 10-2. and two. Yeah. I think they're probably a little better than Aiden Griffin. The revenge factor, like I said. Okay. I think it's close, but I'll, I'll take the visitors in that one. Gotcha. Um, Jim, you uh, you have seen Farmville Central here recently. And, yeah, so uh, last couple weeks. Yeah. Um, um, they're rolling, and yeah. uh, they're traveling to a number one seed. So tough <laughs> yeah. matchup against East Bladen. It's still it's still weird to see um, Farmville Central 10-2 uh, and, and still be an A seed. Yeah. You know, some of these nice. records and yeah. seeds just seem so silly to me. Um, I've seen Farmville now the last two weeks. Saw them uh, um, beat North Pitt and then just really handled Fairmont impressively. I mean, they yeah. just dominated that game from beginning, beginning to end. Continuous clock uh, the That's entire right. second half. Reporter's best dream. friend. Yes. <laughs> I, I texted Tony. I mean, I texted Ronnie you immediately. Did, yeah. Both of you guys. I, I got it too. Because it was the longest first quarter in history, <laughs> and then second half zoomed by. Farmville is so impressive to me. They have so many weapons. They really you do. Keyshawn Baker had a huge game, four touchdowns, 200 yards. But they had three or four other guys who ran the ball really well. Curly's and good. It's, yeah. it's really it's fun to watch them play because, I mean, they just kind of ride the, the hot hand. You'll see, yeah. you know, Curly will get the ball four or five times yeah. in a row. Or you'll see Baker get the ball a couple times Yeah, he has done that drive. all year, it seems like. Um, he hit the little tight end pass. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and, and just, um, <laughs> so, you know, it's a uh, um, – they're a tough team, and I, I'm sure East Bladen, even though they're number one seed, is not looking at this as a typical eight seed coming in. Yeah, I agree for sure. Um, all right, you're going to pick the Jaguars or you're going with I'm, the home team? I'm going with the Jaguars for the upset on the oh, road. Oh, wow. Okay. Knocking off the number one seed. I just think they're going to carry that momentum in. This is it's not going to be an easy game. Obviously, East Bladen's number one seed for a reason. Um, but the way Farmville played last, uh, last Friday, if they play like that again this week, I, I think they're just going to be really tough to beat. I think they – just escape with a close one and get the win. Mm. All right, so um, special. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna go with you on that one. I like Farmville. Uh, I like. I think if you took away the Southwest Edgecombe loss, which I think was just kind of a hiccup, a 
they're better. They would be seeded better than an eight seed anyway. So kind of like you said, I don't think they're an eight seed. They're ten and two. East Bladen's ten and two. I think this is a really even matchup. Um, I'll take the Jaguars. They're gonna have to go win it. They're gonna have to score a bunch of points. I think it's a high scoring, crazy back and forth type of game. Um, I'll take the Jaguars and upset as well. And make it three for three because I like Farmville Central in a high scoring game. Yeah, yeah exactly. I feel like they're the team to pick. If it's going to be 55 48, yeah. Yeah. honestly, because they have the horses to keep yeah. running out there. Yeah, They're yeah. so deep. Yeah, stop them. Exactly. Stop them. I agree. I agree. I feel like that's going to be the difference. That's a motivated team with a motivated coaching staff. You know, this playoff thing is still relatively new to them the last couple of years. They've yeah. been getting in it. They like it. You yeah. know what I mean? So I'll make it three for three on the upset. I got Formal Central, too. All right. I like it. Uh, last game, uh, another 8 1 matchup. Um, I covered this game a few weeks ago. Um, this time it's in New Bern. Rose goes in New Bern. Um, we talk about New Bern a lot. They're undefeated. Rose is 10-2, and two, including a 33-13 to 13 loss against New Bern a few weeks ago, like I said. Um, a couple key things with this one. Uh, Got to start with New Bern quarterback Mike Hughes. Mm -hmm. Hurt his ankle in that game. Hasn't played since. Um, yeah. So, one, does he play? Uh, my guess is if he can walk, if he can run, <laughs> if he can do something, he's going to be out there. Yeah. Um, two, is he effective? I mean, he's a run-first guy, um, a sprained ankle, especially if it's severely sprained. Uh -huh. That can really kind of change the offense, change the dynamic of, of him as a player and the team. Um, other thing to watch, since I did cover that one, the first time they played, Cornell Powell played a lot of quarterback. Yeah. Um, it didn't work out great. They Newbern really bottled it up. Like the, the strategy, get you know, use your fastball, get him the ball, but it didn't work out. Yeah. Last week he plays receiver exclusively. He was amazing. <laughs> Six touchdowns, one of the best performances I've ever seen. Yeah, that was incredible. Um, 200 and some yards. So what does he do? Does he play quarterback? Or does he play receiver? Do they try to get cute again? Or do they just do what they did last week? Yeah. Um, so some intriguing storylines with this yeah. one. Uh, and then obviously just it's a rivalry. It gets physical. Um, it's a, two talented teams. But – the use of quarterback by each team, I think, is going to be key. What do you do? Is it Hughes? Is it Powell? Is yeah. it Copeland Spell? Is the Newburn backup? That's going to play a, a lot in this game. I think really going to influence how this one kind of plays out. Um, I think Rose has a chance. I think they really? got a shot, but Powell, I think, has got to go off, whether it's a receiver, or it's quarterback, running back, whatever. Mm -hmm. um, they got to find a way. Maybe to, even defensively. Yeah, he did that <laughs> last week, got a pick six. So, yeah, yeah. Um, that thing. yeah they real. got to find a way to – to get a lot of points, they they didn't score a ton against Newber in the first go around. They got to score more and, and kind of win a shootout. Um, with my prediction, I'm gonna take the Bears. Uh, it's hard not to. Yeah, I, if yeah. if I if I had more confidence in Rose's defense, I would take them to win a shootout. But I just don't think they can stop Newber for for four quarters. I think yeah. it's like I said. I think Powell and Spell can keep them in the game. I think it's closer this time around. I see like a. 41 to 33, 35, something like that. I think it's high scoring, but Newbern's defense in the end, I think they make enough plays and, and win it close. One. Yeah, I mean, Powell's a dynamic player, obviously, and uh, I feel like he's going to face a much tougher defense at Newbern than he oh, did yeah. last week. Yeah. Um, I think that's going to go a long way to telling who's going to win this game. And I think Rose is going to keep it close for the majority of the game. I feel like it may even come come down to a couple of fourth quarter plays, as you mentioned, Ronnie. I feel like this will be a lot closer matchup than the first time around because because Rose is definitely motivated and Powell is playing at such a high level right now. But I think you have to pick Newbern there. At least I will. I feel like they're going to win it at home. Okay, Jim. You know what will be interesting too with this? You mentioned uh, defense. Does Powell play defense? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, would I mean, say it yes. worked out pretty well. <laughs> like more you than know? one or two plays. Yeah. 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 I mean, do you, if it's a close game in the second half, do you just you know? Run he and, and Copeland Spell play defense, defense as well. Too, yeah. I mean, you put your best players on the field and see what happens. There's and not another game down. if you don't win it. You no, know? I mean, if it comes down to crunch time, you're in that fourth quarter and it's a game. It's a good point. I mean, I, I'm sure Powell will not leave that field. Yeah. <laughs> um, but even saying that, I got to give Newburn the edge because they're playing at home. Yeah. yeah. No one's come close to touching them yet. Yeah. Um, they just have so many weapons. Even even when Mike Hughes went out in that first game against Rose. They've, they've, they've kept rolling. They know? barely missed they, a beat. Yeah, yeah, you know, and Rose got that first touchdown in that first matchup, got a fumble, couldn't convert anything there, and things just kind of fell apart. You it know, did, they yeah. had that chance, and they couldn't keep it going. And that's that's what's tough about playing Newburn. It's hard to get any momentum yeah. going on offense, you yeah. know. 
Um, and so I, I just think right now you got to give the Bears the edge. I mean, they're they're number one seed and they're a legit number one seed. Yeah. Uh, you know, like you got to think they're an odds on favorite to win a state championship. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the the winner of this game, if Rose pulls an upset, could shake out well for Rose. I mean, yeah. I think the the winner of this one, as you said, is in line for a state championship run probably. Um, yeah. Bears probably more likely or in a better spot to do it, but uh, I think it's going to be a great game. I'm covering that one and, and looking forward to it. Um, so three good games. Uh, as we always say this time of year, we'll see what happens on Friday. And uh, if things shake out, we might see you next week. We might not. But um, check, uh, check Reflector.com to see how the games shake out.